lakes in Lakeland fall below the state's water quality standards, and they are in critical need of cleaning. If that doesn't happen, the city could be fined. News Channel East Melissa Marino joining us live tonight from Lake Hollingsworth. That is one of the most popular lakes in Lakeland. It also happens to be one of the dirtiest. Yeah, any given day, you can find people walking or running here around the lake. Very popular spot. If it was a little warmer, you could find people boating or water skiing. But here is the issue, the trash that is making its way from our homes to the sewer drains and into the lakes. They're known as one of Lakeland's biggest attractions. We have 38 named lakes in the city of Lakeland. Some of public, public access, some are private. It's a great place to just come out and enjoy nature and the beauty of everything that surrounds it. But beauty is more than just what's on the surface. Five lakes fall way below state water quality standards. Lake Hollingsworth, Lake Bonnie, Lake Hunter, Lake Parker, and Lake Crystal. All have extremely high levels of phosphorus and nitrogen. A combination that could equal an aquatic disaster. Typically what it does is it fuels uh, algae blooms. Algae blooms means reduced oxygen, which means the fish can't breathe and you lead to fish kills. The problem comes from polluted stormwater running into the lakes. Residents currently pay a $6 monthly stormwater fee to help with cleanup. Hi, I'm Toby. The city has come out with PSAs and increased their efforts. We have a very robust street sweeping uh, program. We've put in catch basins at, at some of the lakes. But according to the state, it's not enough. We are definitely in a millions of dollars in deficit to meet the standards. Money they're scrambling to find. It will likely come from taxpayers. The city is looking at whether increasing stormwater fees will help. We're on a watch list, so we've got to be doing something. This goes beyond Lakeland. Here are some others that made the list. The Winter Haven Southern Chain of Lakes, Lake Lena, Lake Hancock, and Banana Lake all made this list. There is also the list on our website if you want to check out what other Bay Area lakes made it on there. WFLA.com. Keith? Yeah, sounds like a long list. Melissa Marino reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.